So hey guys, so here's a new uh, video, and as you can see, it is the Boruto Mitsuki Sarada and Mad Scientist event, formerly known as Boruto Naruto event. So uh, yeah, so this is a highly anticipated event for a lot of people. Um, for me, honestly, as fucked up as it sounds, I could really care less. Uh, it would be useful to me, but I mean, I have everything basically so the interesting about this event is that if you have around 10k stamina more or less and keep in mind i'm erring on the side of caution which means that i'm as i'm overestimating by quite a bit quite a bit if you have 10k stamina or so and you have strong enough cards you have the ability to get just about everything in this event for free um without having to spend any money and you can get the sarada naruto Bor uh, sarada boruto mitsuki and mad scientist to gold for free or at least have enough cards to turn them into gold for free um now there's some items that you can get for free during this event those items being the seventh hokage's cloak tier four uh, boruto's vest tier four scientific ninja tool tier four shining gun with single tomo tier four cloth sleeve tier four giant snake cells tier four uh konoha headband new generation uh, you can get up to three of those tier four um practice cake <laughs> practice cape tier 4 and that's all um, also you have the chance to get the collection for boruto which means you need to get the boruto naruto collection which means that you need to get boruto sarada mitsuki and the mad scientist up to gold if you want to get it it's a decent collection it gives you a nice amount of cp um, more or less i believe 500k could be could be a little more could be a little less um, now, the interesting part about these uh, characters is that, as you can see, they have their parents' uh, uh, bloodlines. For example, Sarada has um, Sasuke's Eternal Mangeki or Sharingan and Itachi's Sharingan. Uh, Mitsuki has the uh, Sage Art Snake and Boruto has the Nature and uh, Sage Art and Sage uh, Skills bloodline. And so that means that Boruto, for example, can use a multiple Shadow Clone. Mitsuki can use the Curse Seal uh, from Orochimaru. And Sarada can use the Perfect Susano from Sasuke. Or Lightning Shadow Clone. Um, and yeah, there's a very good consumption event. Uh, this would be the time, if you have 50k, this would be the time, this is this is your time now. To get every, every single item for Sasuke, Naruto, up to tier 4, all their skills... Um, for, for for 50k basically skills items everything to tier 4 for sasuke and naruto um so yeah as you can see i have some items on these guys and uh let me see strategy holder it's the wrong thing to have on her let me go ahead and find i believe her. it's zetsu yeah it's zetsu so as you can see these are all the t all the tier 4 items for mitsuki sarada and boruto these are all the items you can get for free. How do you get these items? You have to do it by beating this trial right over here called Teacher's Test. Um, it costs 29 stamina to do. Uh, you have to defeat Sasuke. And I'll be quite honest, uh, he's not the easiest uh, person to defeat. He actually is rather powerful. And if you're not careful, you can easily die up against him. Um... Yeah, he's very deadly. Uh, I had an easier time of it because obviously I have the Shadow Clone for Boruto, meaning that he's overpowered. I had all of their tier 4 items, so they got little bonuses and such. Uh, he's basically useless. He's just there to be there, essentially. Um, so let me start off with their skills. Uh, their skills are actually rather decent uh, for Boruto, Mitsuki, and Sarada. Um, if you have the time and patience for it, you can actually use the... Uh, Mitsuki and uh, Kakashi as a combination for a uh, constant, constant stun lock, believe it or not. Let me go ahead and put this here. So we're going to put that on her. We're going to put this on him. And finally, this on him. So Boruto, what he does is that he attacks everybody um, with quite a bit of ninjutsu attack. And now what he does is that for the person on the opposite side of him, directly in front of him... Uh, it basically stuns the enemy for two rounds, and uh, then he also has a chance to dizzy the entire front row for two rounds. Um, he does a decent amount of damage, obviously with multiple Shadow Clone, he can do even more. Uh, but these are his items. There is the Scientific Ninja Tool, which at 100, uh, level 120 
gives you 128k ninjutsu attack and if you equip it to boruto he gets an extra 34k ninjutsu attack 20k hit 48k hp and he also has a chance to trigger the attack called chidori after a using a normal attack which deals massive ninjutsu damage to the enemies in front of him in a row and can numb the enemies which means that they don't have the ability to release or use passive skills for two turns um, it needs hit to take effect, but it's a very good item. Then you have Konohana, Konoha Headband, a new generation, tier 4. At level 106, uh, you get 82k stamina, 63k ninjutsu attack, and if you equip it to Boruto, Sarada, or Mitsuki, you get an extra 69k HP, 55k ninjutsu attack. Um, then you also have the Boruto's Vest, tier 4, at level 105, some, it gives you... 70k stamina, 64k ninjutsu defense, and 45k taijutsu defense, plus 55k ninjutsu attack if you equip it to Boruto. Um, then you have uh, Mitsuki's items, which you have the giant snake cells, uh, level 122. It gives you 53k hits, um, 94k ninjutsu attack, and 50k uh, ninjutsu and 60k HP if you equip it to um, Mitsuki. It also releases giant snake cells, which uh, increases his ninjutsu attack for two rounds. He also he can also use the Konoha headband. Um, practice cape tier four. At level 105, uh, it gives you 78k stamina, 62k ninjutsu defense, and if you equip it to Mitsuki, he gets an extra 55k taijutsu defense and 50k ninjutsu defense. And then finally, we have Sarada with the cloth sleeves. At level 105, uh, it gives you... 113k ninjutsu attack at tier 4 and if you equip it to sarada she gets 43k ninjutsu attack 68k hp and she also has a chance to release uh, oh no she also releases the skill called heavily defending foot after uh, her unique skill which does a lot of damage and it also uh, does an extra max hp to the enemy so basically it does kind of like a percentage uh percentage uh hp damage i guess then you have the Shining Gun with Single Tomo at level 122. It gives you 65k Taijutsu attack, 80k Ninjutsu attack, 33k hit, and 71k HP if you equip it to Sarada. Um, and so yeah, as you can see, all of these items are very, very powerful. Um, and you can get them all for free. Obviously, you're not going to get them very easily. Um, it's a little bit based on luck, but keep in mind, just grind out the teacher's test and you have a chance to get all of the items. Uh, where do you get these items? And uh, let me defeat this guy, and I'll show you in a second. There we go. That's done. That was rather quick. Um, you go to the item shop. You go to gift pack. You scroll to the left, and you keep on going up until you hit the... Uh, let me see. Right here. Oh, no, my bad. You don't scroll to the left. You scroll to the right. Get, get there faster. You can get the snake cells. You need the Boruto Uzumaki exchange certificate. Keep in mind, you can only get one of each. And yeah, so uh, first of all, how do you get these guys to gold? Uh, I might have already said this, but keep in mind, I've done about five takes of this. So yeah, um, so Konoha, nin, uh, Konoha New Generation, you just defeat that. It's basically having, having to fight Mitsuki, Sarada, and uh, Boruto. Fairly easy, doesn't take that much time to do so. Um, if you're having trouble, uh, you can do a gold 10 draw. You're going to get a Boruto for free um, from the gold 10 draw. And that gives you a Boruto who does a decent amount of damage even without the Shadow Clone. You just need to have some attack ninjutsu attack on him. And uh, there's also a dungeon in which you can only use uh, these four cards in particular. It's called Battle to the Death. And the only way to um, defeat it is by... a going ahead and uh, using these three cards i would recommend that you train up your boruto sarada and mitsuki up to gold before you do try this dungeon because even though at purple card they can take down this particular dungeon you have to keep in mind that you need them to have be uh they have to be uh they have to have a decent amount of decent amount of ninjutsu attack as easy as i'm making this trial look um it's not that easy it definitely can be harder especially if you're newer um will of fire is actually rather difficult um 
it's not impossible, but even somebody uh, such as me has to be careful, essentially. Uh, so let me show you. I'm going to go ahead and take this out. Um, put that in. Put that in. Uh, yeah, take that out. That out. That out. Put Sasuke up in this bitch. And then put uh, who would be perfect. Um... Hashirama would be good, if I can find Hashirama, and then finally we need something more, and we have her, him, 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 eh, why not, Boruto, I guess, uh, let's see, so, gonna go ahead and do this, and this, this, change the skill into Sage Art, and... It should be, actually no. I'm gonna take him out and put in Orochimaru. There we go. Um. So yeah, the reason I'm doing this is because uh the bor the final boss essentially for this particular dungeon in Wall of Fire has the annoying tendency to use a skill called anemia, anemia, something like that, and basically it makes him immune to all statuses. And what this particular card does. It makes it so he's not immune to those statuses and shit. I just realized that this guy, damn it. Yeah, see. I mean, it's not like we're gonna lose because these guys do have a shield, they have a decent amount of HP. It's just that it's a little frustrating. That's all. And yeah, see, the key can do quite a bit of damage. I mean, once again, I'm having an easier time of it because I can afford to make mistakes. But he he can be deadly. He can be very, very deadly. Honestly, one of the few reasons I just stayed alive right now is because of the amount of shields I get because of using uh, the Demon Fox. Uh, Demon Fox Cloak passive on Sasuke on the Hina Naruto combination card. Um, and then, yeah, you can get the 4th Hokage's, uh, 7th Hokage's Cloak, uh, which we, you can equip to Naruto. It's one of his better items, honestly. Um, as you can see here, at level 130, um, tier 4, you can get, uh, it gives you 114k stamina, 71k ninjutsu attack. Now, if you equip it to Naruto, he gets an extra 34k hit, uh, 112k ninjutsu attack. Um, and he also releases a skill called Power of the Ninetales after the round ends, which basically makes him immune to just about everything for one turn. So yeah, it's a good skill item to get. Um, you can only get it once, so keep that in mind. Um, this is not where uh, you can get 20 of those. Uh, it'd be nice. What the fuck? I haven't bought one. Oh, apparently you really can only get one. That's bullshit. I mean, since I already have one, apparently, it doesn't want to exceed the cap, and I can't get one for whatever reason. I call bullshit. But, hey, the devs are like that, I suppose. Which kind of sucks, because I was looking forward to get more uh, giant snake cells, and getting more of the single tomo shining gun, because those are very useful. Uh, they have They have a very large amount of ninjutsu attack, and hit, respectively. Yeah, I can't buy one. Shit. Apparently, I can't buy any of these items because... Wow, this I this event's really useless for me. That is complete bullshit. Oh, my God, it's so annoying. Uh, so, I guess this is one of the better useful, more useful events for somebody who's new. But, yeah, if you've already done this event, this is kind of useless. It's kind of like, eh, this is nice, I guess. Gives you a chance to pick up anything that you missed last time but if you got everything you did from this time well it's like i said it's useless kind of sucks but i mean i'm not that surprised the devs are i don't know if you guys have noticed this but the devs are devs they're a little bit um greedy greedy yeah greedy is the word they're a little greedy let's see putting back up my formation there we go beasting and shit um but yeah that's really about it when it comes to this event 
not much to tell quite honestly this event's good if you're a new player but kind of like meh if you are a if you've already done this event there's really nothing to be gained except for maybe uh an extra full gold boruto team if you're so inclined but it looks like you can't get any of the items again which i i'll admit i'm kind of disappointed because i was looking forward to that but I guess it gives chan a chance for the newer players to catch up. Um, Consumption-wise, this event's very good, very good. Once again, I think I've already said this, but like I said, I've done multiple takes recently, so I'm a little scatterbrained right now. Um, yeah, you can get everything for Sakura. I mean, everything for Naruto, everything for Sasuke. Relatively cheap, believe it or not. Uh, I remember when the S six Toma Renengan came out, it was, I do believe, 75k consumption. Now it's 50k and you get everything, his skills, his attacks. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you can get it, get it. If you can't, well, just wait for another event. Um, although, if at the very least, um, uh, I would recommend to, at minimum, uh, consume 20k. Because then you get the Eternal Mangeki of Sharingan to tier 4. And that's really the best item for um, for Sasuke. Apart from his Chidori, uh, his uh, Sword of Kusanagi. So yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what to feel about this event now. It kind of feels shitty now Now that I realize that I won't get any real use out, use out of it. But eh, I guess whatever, it's, it's done. I mean, these guys aren't useful. Well, they're not useless, but they're not particularly powerful that's all i mean there's better cards essentially is what i'm trying to say um but yeah if you're a new player these cards are fairly decent so that's really about it for the consumption the the trials i guess um yeah i mean i was gonna do teacher's trials uh quite often but now i realize that it's basically pointless because well I can't get anything extra after that, which, once again, kind of just sucks. Really, really huge donkey balls. But, hey, what can I say? You win some, you lose some. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and do daily Q&A. And that's going to be it for the video. I hope I'm recording. I am recording. So, volume, bring all the way down. Don't want to hurt anybody's ears. And here we go, daily Q&A. Okay, how much gold is it to grind out a Suza Kakashi purple card? About 6k per Kakashi, so if you want a gold Kakashi, you need 7 uh, K Suza Kakashi, so that's 6k per Suza Kakashi. So how much would that be? Um, 7 times 6, 42k for a gold Kakashi. Uh, do you think Sasuke Itachi combo card will come out? It already has, and it's very good. It's just extremely pricey. Um, extremely expensive. There we go. How do you... Do you know how you, do you like when you hit the opponent? Like, the first Okage picture, how do you do that? Huh? I am confused. New Yin. Uh, can you try to explain it a little better in this video? Sorry. Why is it the Boruto event is so long anticipated? Uh, meow, well, because, like I said, you can get everything for free if you have enough stamina. It's a very good event for new players because if you have enough stamina, um, you can get essentially 10 items for free, which is basically unheard of and keep in mind this isn't like oh yeah you have to consume 20k worth of gold no this is for free where it, as long as you have the stamina uh these items depending on the drop rate are literally free which is very very good so that's why it's very anticipated and it gives you a collection which is fairly easy to get can i see the skills on your obito sasuke and naruto let's see so those are the skills on my obito those are the skills on my Naruto. And these are the skills on my Sasuke. There you go. Um, let's see. 
do you just keep using and like you just keep using your skills uh um so f what, from what i'm trying to see and i think i understand here is uh nugan uh basically how did it get the first okage skin uh, i used 10k on the first okage now keep in mind there's two different versions of the first okage you have the first okage that looks like this which is hashidama senju and then you have uh, god of shinobi the first okage a skin uh, that's how I got it there because I put it there and I bought it with gold. Now, keep in mind that there's two different versions of the first Okage. Um, there's this one, the one I just showed you, which costs a lot of money and a lot of gold or both. Uh, and then there's this one, which doesn't cost a lot of money or gold. It's But it's very... It's basically useless. If I can find it, I'll show it to you in a second. It should be right over, huh? I think they took it down. Or maybe I just skipped it. I think I may have skipped it. Let's see, nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope. Nope. Ah, here we go. This is the Hokages that I was talking about. Absolute reanimated the first Hokage. Yeah, see, these these are useless. No bueno. Um, how do I get to use so many skills? Um, basically because I have a lot of items. A lot of these items, a lot of passive skills, so it just lets me use them. Usually you have to spend a lot of gold slash money, so, yeah. Um, I have to 50k. Would it be worth it to spend my gold to get Sasuke 6, Summer Renengan, his two passives, Shidori and Susana? What's better for Naruto, Wind Release, Ross and Shuriken, or the Flame Tailed Beast Ball? Um, Thomas, uh, for PvP, the Flame Tailed Beast Ball. Um, for the Ninja World War, uh, then the Ross and Shuriken. But I mean, I would recommend using Ross and Shuriken in the Ninja World War. The Shadow Clone, uh, the Ultra. The Aspiring Zero Spheres, uh, Strongest Father and Son skill, usually does more damage in total than the Rust and Shuriken. But yeah, Thomas, go for it, man. This is one of the better events to consume for. You can get everything for Sasuke, for Naruto. It's good. Hey, man, so I think that if you made two videos, that it would really help us a lot. The first is a video of maybe the top 10 cards, just so we can get an understanding of what events to do. Another would be Ninja World War tips, tips rather than talking about the ideal Ninja World War team, which I know you've done a video about. Maybe do a video about some alternative card that could help out. I know I can get to 6070 with Aditachi in the second Okage, and I'm sure people would love a video about some alternate cards that get them further in Ninja World War. Um, it depends, really, because, uh, Ryan, every person situation is just different, and, uh, I mean, I can tell you, yeah, this would help you, but... In the grim scheme of things, your end goal is to go for the level 100 because that's just the most helpful thing there is in this game when it comes to the Ninja World War. Uh, I'll work on a video like that, but just give me some time. Hey Luis, what does the 10% damage mean with Indara Mark for the Sage user and Student Mark? Is it for the card attacks after Sasuke? Uh, no, Jumpery. It's, uh, it's basically a debuff. Um, basically, here, let me show you. get rid of these guys i'm gonna put in my sasuke so when these two guys release their skills let me actually go ahead and put a where the fuck is mitsuki there he is curse the wrath unequip the fuck out of here and let's see um Take that off of him, take that off of her, and equip, where is Sasuke and Orchumar? There we go. That should be, okay. So basically when these two guys attack a card, um, after they release their unique skill, they release a, a mark, which like this. So this is for the Sasuke Naruto combination card. And the Indara mark is for Naruto Jiraiya combination card. When those two marks are overlap, um, it doesn't matter where you are. 
uh, they will basically cut off 10% uh, HP. For example, it also works on somebody like uh, the Tailed Beast. Seven Tails, as you can see. So there you go, and then you have, and she lost 6.2 million worth of HP. That's 10% of her HP, so she has about 62 million worth of HP. And uh, because of the mark, she just lost it, basically. Hey, she's still alive. That's surprising. Uh, but yeah, that's really all it is. You need both cards to make full use of it. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um... Can you add music in the background? Eh, not really, Brian. I mean... I could, I guess, but... Then you run into that whole copyright thing um, with, like... Oh, do I need to pay for this? So, I do I have permission to use this? I don't really wanna... I don't really wanna mess with that, basically. Hello, Luis. I want to ask you about Naraka Path. I'm level 77, and it is very helpful right now for me, but uh, zero combo with the team. Do you recommend keep it or higher levels, too? If not, tell me a good team for this level, and I'll get to work on it. Thank you. Uh, Nicola, um, it's okay. I mean, combos, they're not that important. I mean, some combos are really overpowered, like the Team 7 combo, uh, Sasuke, Naruto, and Sakura. Um, and they do give you a decent amount of CP, I believe, a good 300k worth of CP when they're together. But otherwise, combos aren't that important because, well, at the end of the day, you only get a small bonus, maybe 100k. And I know that seems like a lot to you, or it could seem like a lot to you. But honestly, it's, in the grand scheme of things, not really when you're working with 37, 36 million worth of CP. Um, Nikolai, uh... The team for your level... See, the thing about this game is is that it's not particularly important what your level is. You can have a Diamond Hashirama, a uh, Diamond Tobirama, a... I don't know, a Itachi Uchiha, a Inuzagi Itachi, a... I don't know, Sasuke Naruto combination card, Itachi Shizui combination card. At level 30... If you're so inclined to. But you just have to drop a lot of money. Being high, higher level makes it easier for you. But it doesn't exactly mean that you have a very good team. And as for a team. I'd recommend just trying to get Naruto Sasuke. Sakura up to Diamond. Those are very good cards. I have a Diamond. They have a good amount of um, items. Good amount of CP. Good amount of uh, passives. Uh, Yeah. Really. So, for a while, uh, now I'd make it at least round 90 in Ninja World War, but for whatever reason, I made it to round 60, and I didn't change anything. Uh, Thomas, maybe, I don't know, uh, make sure that Itachi, no, not Itachi, Sa Orochimaru gets his, uh, gets his, uh, what do you call it, uh, has his Orochimaru's ring equipped. Otherwise, I don't really know what's up with it because today I made it to round 112. No, yesterday I made it to round 117 and I've been doing fine with my cards. Uh, I don't know really, Thomas. Sorry. First. Nice. So, Joe. Uh, guys, look, the event's tomorrow's Boruto. Paul. Okay. Uh, I have a question. How does the Mangekyo Kamui active skill stun lock work? Do I need both Kakashi and Obito or just one of them? Uh, really, it's best if you have both of them, but it can kind of work if you just have one of them. Uh, what it does, it the skill itself makes everything uh, from the enemy team null, uh, basically. So it doesn't, they can't do anything, and it doesn't work. So, yeah, it's just good to use. It's mostly for PvP, but you can use it in Ninja World War. So that's about it for this video. Sorry if I sound a little... Uh, uninspired i guess um dull yeah that works i'm um, sorry if i sound a little dull it's just that been a long day um even though it's only seven in the morning I need to upload this and i realize that it's gonna upload slowly because my internet's shit and i just realized that i can't get any of the extra items which really sucks because i was kind of looking forward to that 
Uh, they really are good items, but I can't get them, so that just sucks. Sucks really badly. But oh well, I suppose. Um, let's see. Let me look for this Mitsuki. Mitsuki has some really good items. He really does. His snake cells are really really good. Um, because of the amount of hit that you get, it's really what I was looking forward to. Let me find what's his face. There you go. That's his face. Uh, giant snake cells. Let me find Kabuto because he needs to put on the. That still seems wrong. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh yeah. Uh, here we go. There we go. It seems about right. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Um, leave a like if you liked it. Leave a dislike if you don't. I appreciate you watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video. Bye.